Welcome to this week's edition of From the Archives here at the Arab American National Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. My name is Matthew Javer Stifler and I'm the research and content manager here at the AANM. Today we're going to take a look through some of our rare book collection, um, specifically focusing on books written by authors who were members of the Pen League, or the Pen Bond as it's also known, which was a literary group formed in New York City in 1920 in the home of Khalil Gibran, or in his studio. Some of the members of the Pen League are really well-known writers, both here in the U.S. and abroad in the Arab world, such as Ilya Abu Mahdi, Mikhail Naimi, uh, Amin Rahani, and of course, Gibran himself. Uh, so let's take a look at some of uh, the books we pulled from the collection. First, we have uh, a first edition signed copy of The Prophet from 1923. Uh, not only Khalil Gibran's most well-known work, but probably one of the most well-known works um, in American literature. Uh, this edition is signed, inscribed to uh, Naum Mukarzel, who in his own right was a very well-known Lebanese-American immigrant who founded the newspaper El Huda, which was one of the first Arabic language newspapers in the United States. In front here we have a very rare copy of El Musica, which is the first thing published uh, by Khalil Gibran in 1905. It was published by a Syrian-American printing press on Washington Street in Little Syria, New York, um, and it is the first known or f the first work of Gibran, and one of the only known copies in the world that I found. I found two um, other than this one. Uh, we have another work by Gibran, and also another uh, inscribed copy of *The Madman*, um, which came slightly um, later. Uh, over here, we have uh, a signed edition of Ilya Abu Mahdi's 1940 work. Um, and this is inscribed to a businessman in Boston by the name of Elias Sabag. Uh, and um, it shows that the, the, a lot of the connection, the early writers, the early Arab American writers, uh, traveled a lot um, to different communities, um, were pretty well known outside of New York, um, not just where the Penn League was. We have a later work here by Amin Rahani, who is credited with writing the first Arab American novel, uh, The Book of Khalid, which came out in 1911. Um, and so, uh, this is a different book. This is about his journeys through uh, the Arab world. And then also a book here that was written by, uh, about the Penn League that they wrote in 1921, kind of a collection of their works. Uh, at the museum, we have a wide range of rare books, um, both rare for their age and rare in their content. Uh, many of them signed. Uh, many of them, you might, this might be the only copy that you can find outside of places like the Library of Congress or maybe in a private collection. So uh, most of the books are open for the public to come and look and to, to use for research purposes. Um, so you're welcome to come by anytime and check out our collection. Uh, again, this is From the Archives at the Arab American National Museum.